Is Israel involved with this covenant with many? Daniel chapter 9 verses 24 through 27 is a very important prophetic passage of scripture. It covers a span of time leading up to the Messiah, the fact that he died, the reason why he died, and sometime afterwards we note that the second temple and the city of Jerusalem would be destroyed. We can mark time there because we know that this occurred in 70 AD when Rome destroyed the second temple and the city of Jerusalem. When we get to verse 27 of the book of Daniel chapter 9, we see a covenant with many confirmed by someone. It has been asked, who are the many and does it have anything to do with Israel? At this point in time, we do not know who the many are until this event is revealed. But we can ascertain that Israel is involved with the many. And how can we come to this? In context, in Daniel chapter 9, Daniel is praying. Throughout, we can see references to the Jewish people, Judah, Israel, references to the temple and the city of Jerusalem. As we review this in context, we will see that with the covenant with many for the 70th week, it will involve the same, the people, the temple, and the city of Jerusalem. Let's go to Daniel chapter 9 verse 7 where we see this, to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and unto all Israel. In verse 11, we see, yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law. We see in this as he's praying. In verse 16, Daniel says, O Lord, according to all thy righteousness, I beseech thee, let thine anger and thy fury be turned away from thy city, Jerusalem, thy holy mountain, because for our sins and for the iniquities of our fathers, Jerusalem and thy people are become a reproach to all that are about us. You see in this verse 17. Now, therefore, O our God, hear the prayer of thy servant and his supplications and cause thy face to shine upon thy sanctuary that is desolate for the Lord's sake. In verse 18, O my God, incline thine ear and hear. Open thine eyes and behold our desolations and the city which is called by thy name. For we do not present our supplications before thee for our righteousness, but for thy great mercies. Verse 19. O Lord, hear. O Lord, forgive. O Lord, hearken and do. Defer not for thine own sake. O my God, for thy city and thy people are called by thy name. And here's what the angel Gabriel told Daniel in verse 24 as a response. Seventy weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city to finish the transgression and to make an end of sins and to make reconciliation for iniquity and to bring in everlasting righteousness and to seal up the vision and prophecy and to anoint the most holy. Here we can see a time span, 70 weeks, who it applies to thy people, the Jewish people, and where thy holy city. This is certainly Jerusalem, as Daniel stated earlier in the chapter. When we get to verse 27, we already know that the one week remaining is the last week of the 70 weeks prophecy, the 70th week. As verse 24 reminds us that 70 weeks are determined upon both the people, Israel, also known as Jacob, and the city of Jerusalem. And we also see the temple referenced due to the sacrifices and oblations. And so, we see all three represented in verse 27. Thus, we can say that Israel is involved with whatever this covenant is. All right, that's it for now till we meet again. Live holy before the Lord. Love y'all. Shalom. Shalom.